Welcome to the channel guys, my name is Jess. So Bitcoin has moved to retest a huge level of resistance at $64,000, a break of which will result in a massive bullish rally up to 69K. We're gonna dive into the video today to discuss the importance of this level of resistance and the short time frame and macro charts that you need to watch out for in terms of both a bullish break and the potential for a short time frame correction. Before we get into all that though, make sure you guys smash that like button and subscribe to the channel to get regular Bitcoin analysis every Monday, Wednesday, and Saturday. If you're after even more content, be sure to check out my free telegram for daily updates as well as crypto and economic news. And if you're interested in my VIP channel, you can get more details over here. VIP gives you exclusive access to my personal trading setups with exact entry points, targets, and stop losses. Diving around to the charts, guys, let's go ahead and talk about what on earth has happened over the last couple of days to weeks. So we can see here on a four hour time frame, ever since that retest at 52,500, Bitcoin has been traveling quite strictly in, an, in a short time frame uptrend. And last night, we went on to retest a massive level of resistance here at $64,000. This was the same uh, level of resistance that Bitcoin rejected from all the way back here in August that led to a failed bullish continuation after breaking through massive levels of resistance here within our descending channel formation. So one of the reasons why we've had such a bullish last couple of weeks was because of the federal interest rate decision. So for those of you guys who missed it, um, last 19th, we had the federal interest rate decision come out and it resulted in a 50 basis point cut, which is naturally exceptionally bullish for the risk asset market. We can see that um, overall market sentiment has improved greatly over the last week. For example, fear and greed index has gone up from about 34 to 48 um, in just a seven day period, which is quite a sharp jump. Taking a look at the monthly returns so far, September has been an exceptionally bullish month um, in comparison to you know the historical trend, which has generally been quite negative. So far, we've seen a 6.94% increase in the price of Bitcoin over the month period. So things are shaping up to be quite bullish for Bitcoin. Let's talk about you know what this next level of resistance means and how things are shaping up on the macro charts and everything you need to look out for on the shorter time frame. Before we dive into any more analysis guys let's hear a quick word from our sponsor but you next where you can get 15% off all of your trading fees and up to 5,500 US dollars in sign rewards by creating your free account using the link down in my description box. BUNEX is an emerging cryptocurrency exchange committed to providing you with a secure, convenient, and highly functional trading and investment platform. Available across all countries as a non-KYC exchange, get global access to over 150 trading pairs with minimal fees on both spot and futures contracts. Join today to get $5,500 US dollars in sign-up rewards and get 15% off all of your trading fees by signing up using the link in my bio or by using the code 1GG3 when you create your account. So starting off with the macro charts and first of all, the weekly, let's talk about $69,000. Why are we targeting 69K and what would that move mean? So taking a look here on the weekly timeframe, we can see our massive descending channel, right? And the reason why we're targeting 69 or $68,500 is because it is the current horizontal confluence level that we have on the upper trend line within our massive descending channel formation. So as we retest that 69 to 68.5K region, Region, that is when we have a range high retest of the channel structure. So why is this next retest so important? It is because of what we can see developing here on the weekly charts and specifically on the RSI. So over the last six month period, this is 29 bars, so just nearly six months, we have had a massive channel of consolidation, right? But during that period of consolidation, we have seen a massive amount of decreasing strength, right? Decreasing momentum, um, decreasing buying pressure and increasing selling pressure represented by these lower peaks over here. So throughout this entire period, and as we approach the latter end of this consolidation within the six months, the RSI has started to form somewhat of an apex, right? Where we've had our key downtrending resistance on the RSI, as well as this horizontal level here on the oscillator at 44.81 that coincides with the same levels of bullish momentum that we saw at the start of the bull market. So as we approach that sort of apex, Bitcoin was either you know going to make a decision, and I think that was very heavily based on the upcoming rate or the prior rate data where we were either going to see a bullish shift in momentum breaking us out of this downtrend and signaling a high probability of a move into the range high and a high probability of a breakout or we were going to see a breakdown of 44 44.81 
falling momentum below pre-bull market levels and potentially increasing the likelihood of entering a bear market. So as you guys know, we had very, very bullish interest rate decision and Bitcoin has broken out of this six month long RSI downtrend. So what that tells us is that this next retest of this range high here has a higher probability of breaking out than we have seen over the last six month period, right? These other range high retests over here, the very first one where we had bearish divergence on a daily time frame, we weren't going to you know, have a bullish continuation here. The second one, again, we had falling momentum. So approaching a level of resistance, falling momentum, lower probability of a breakout and same time and time again. But this time we've had leading confirmation or leading indication that we have a high probability of seeing a breakout due to a massive shift in bullish momentum and, you know, I guess market trajectory um, and seeing a breakout over here. So that is why this next retest of 69k is so important. Now moving over onto the daily chart guys, we can see that the last couple of daily candle closes have been exceptionally bullish. So I talked about in my last video, what we really needed to see here on a daily time frame was a daily candle close above $61,800. This bullish trigger level over here represented by that green line. Now what that would mean is that in sustaining that close above 61.8,000, which we have historically continually rejected it off, we would move in to retest the next bullish target being the second high or the prior high within our downtrend. So that next level of resistance was between $64,000 to $65,000. And that is pretty much exactly what Bitcoin did. After that daily candle close, we had a wick right up to 64 k And that is currently that key level of resistance that I spoke about. So while we remain above this level of support over here at 61.8 thousand and more crucially the base of that support at 60,400 or 60,300, Bitcoin should be able to facilitate a bullish continuation past this level of resistance. While we remain within this kind of current like sort of range here between 60k and 60. 5,000, the top of that resistance range, we're in somewhat of a neutral top zone, right? Where we are, you know, just sort of consolidating, nothing really of too much significance is happening. And we're really just waiting for a break um, to either signal a bullish continuation or some sort of breakdown where we can expect, um, you know, a much higher likelihood of the opposite scenario happening. So let's talk about that. What, why would that break be so important? So at the base of our current level of support is 60,300. Now, this level of support here also has confluence with a lot of other key structures on this daily time frame. The first of all being the midline of our macro descending channel structure. The midline has historically represented a huge level of both support and resistance, where breaking a um, a below has resulted in a range low retest and breaking above has resulted in a range high retest and so on and so forth. So the base of our current horizontal level of support has perfect confluence with our midline structure um, support as well as our downtrend, right? The one we just recently broke out of in the last couple of days. So falling below 60,300, we fall below our midline and we also coincidentally fall back into our downtrend where we can expect a much higher High probability then of retesting these support levels that we have within this lower half of our descending channel structure. So that means then that while we hold our horizontal level of support here between 60,300 and 61,800, we have a higher probability of retesting this level of resistance, breaking out and um, moving into that range high. Now in that move, we do have a volume gap right here um, between 64,000 and 66. So in closing above 65,000 on a daily time frame, that level of resistance, we can expect first of all, quite a rapid move up to $66,000. Um, but it is the final level of resistance that we have here. So rapid move up to 66 and then a bullish continuation to the range high at $69,000. So now let's move into the short time and talk about in detail all the key sort of trigger levels that we have here in both the bullish case and the bearish case scenario. So moving back over onto the four hour time frame, once again, guys, we can see that neutral top chop zone that I talked about on the daily chart right over here. So the top of that level of support there being 61,800, that's black line, and the next level of resistance starting over here at $64,000 or 63,800. We do have a little bit of nuance in that level of support. So the start of the liquidity zone in that upper resistance there, 
does start at 64,200. Um, but we can see that the actual resistance itself does start down here at 63.8. Um, that is where the candle closes within that little short time frame range of consolidation begins. And also where we ended up rejecting off for that four hour candle close. So there are a couple key levels of resistance within that level of resistance. But for extents and purposes of defining a bullish break, this is really all we need to know is that it starts at 63,700 and it ends at $65,000. So immediately we know what a bullish break is going to be. It's going to be a clearance of this level and at the very least on the four hour time frame, right? That is the time frame that we rejected off this previously, had that double top and, you know, ended up falling down below to 53,500, right? So on the four hour time frame, it is clearing that level there, moving above that change of character level as mapped out on the liquidity swings indicator at $65,000. Um, that, you know, uh, I guess confirms that bullish break, confirms the move up to 66k to fill that volume gap and you know confirms the clearance of our final level of resistance in retesting the range high. So that is the bullish case scenario. That's done and defined. Now below that we have our neutral territory. So while we're above $61,800 and specifically on the shorter time frame above our short time frame uptrend here which currently has confluence with about $60,000, right? Um, although, you know, the charts are going to develop and we will sort of retest. If we do retest that trend line, it'll be later in the period, which again, then coincides much better with that $60,300 level at the base of our support. So our short time frame um, uptrend and this horizontal level of support, we are in that neutral territory where, you know, it doesn't matter if Bitcoin does end up dipping there and seeing that drop, it is still somewhat of a bullish drop. It's bullish consolidation. Chop is fine. We've had a massive amount of bullish rallying over here. It is only natural that we begin to see a little bit of profit taking. It needs to drop at some point. We can't go in one direction forever. Um, and we've already started to see a little bit of that drop there. If we zoom in onto the 15 minute chart, which I will do in just a moment, we can start to see a downtrend in the RSI forming, some bearish divergence that we had there on the shorter time frame charts approaching that level of resistance. But for extents and purposes, of mapping out you know the future trajectory this is the neutral territory above our uptrend and above this level of support now falling below that falling below our uptrend we also fall into this next level of support down here at fifty nine point three thousand dollars right and that is when the bearish case scenario starts to become a little bit more likely right while we're at support support is support until it's not so we are still above the support we're still for the extents and purposes of entering the downtrend we're still somewhat in the downtrend at that point we will have fallen below the midline here as well as the daily chart level at sixty thousand five hundred but we are still at support. So we can't expect a bearish continuation until losing that level, falling below the downtrend, this downtrend over here on the short time frame charts. And that is when we expect a move into these lower levels over here. First of all, $57,300, 55, where we enter this lower liquidity zone over here. And, you know, that is when it becomes quite bearish and we potentially move to retest sell side liquidity and getting a daily close within that liquidity range over here. Zooming in just a little bit further onto the hourly chart, we can see that bearish divergence that I mentioned there. So it wasn't on the 15 minutes. Sorry, um, looks like it's carried forward a little bit onto the hourly chart. But we can see here these two higher highs on the on the price action and the opposing um, lower highs here on the RSI. So we had falling momentum approaching a key level of resistance. So naturally we had a rejection there finding support on the 50 sma on the hourly time frame so if we want to see another range high retest here the first thing we want to see is a breakout of our rsi downtrend on the hourly chart and if we see a breakdown of our 50 sma here on the hourly we can expect a further bearish continuation falling into this liquidity gap over here to retest the top level of our support at 61,800. Alrighty guys, that is all the analysis that I have for you today. If you enjoyed the video or you learned something, don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe to the channel. If you're after even more content, be sure to check out my free telegram for daily updates as well as crypto and economic news. And if you're interested in my VIP channel, you can get more details over here. VIP gives you exclusive access to my personal trading setups with exact entry points, targets, and stop losses. And if you are a trader, don't forget to get 15% off all of your trading fees by signing up down below to bit your next. I hope you guys have a great week and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.